Hello, my name is Brainerd Carey, and today I am doing an episode about professional development in the arts, specifically how it is that you get your work into a museum. There's two aspects to a museum, two departments. That's the curatorial and the educational, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between the two and how you can work with the educational department. To tell you a little bit about who I am, I wrote these two books. This one's called New Markets for Artists. It was published in 2012. This is Making It in the Art World. It just came out last year, a bestseller. Both of these books are designed to help the professional artists, the professional contemporary artists, manage their career, which means everything from submitting work, writing artist statements, to a variety of ways of artists managing careers, because there are so many ways to manage careers today. So today's topic is, how do you get into a museum? There are two departments, as I was saying. There's the curatorial department, which controls shows and exhibits at the museum. And then there's an educational department, which controls public lectures and talks and workshops. When you approach a museum, you of course want to be, you want to have an exhibit there. That in most cases is the most difficult thing, but not impossible. The reason it's difficult is because museums usually have their shows laid out years in advance, or at least a year in advance, and all the curators at that museum have their shows that they want to produce when it's their turn. However, that doesn't mean that you can't exhibit in a museum. First, I want to talk about educational. Today, we're going to talk about the educational department because it's a way into the museum to build relationships and get paid. The way that works is if you go to a museum's website now, whether it's the Guggenheim, Whitney, MoMA, or whatever museum is near you. I would choose a museum that is within drivable distance, ideally, of you. And what I would do is look at their website and see what they're offering in terms of educational programs. And what that means is they'll have something like a workshop for, uh, let's say there's an exhibit of a photographer on, a major well-known photographer. Maybe there's uh, tours that you can go on that are educational tours led by different people. There might be workshops by contemporary artists to show you how that photographer did his work or her work. There could be lectures, there could be lectures slash workshops. Different things that are designed to bring the public in and have them be part of what's happening at the museum. It's very important for museums to have these educational programs because what museums want is more people in the museum. Instead of just kind of preaching to the converted people who already like the museum, they want to bring in new people who gain an interest in the museum in a new and different way. And the way that happens is through workshops, through the educational department. What I'm suggesting and proposing that you do is Get into the educational department of a museum. Propose a one-time lecture, a one-time workshop, a one-time um, guide through the museum. You could really be almost anything. You'll get an idea of what they do, again, when you look at their websites. However, come up with something that's relevant, that's, that, that appeals to perhaps some of the programming they have. So, for example, let's say they have a program coming up on, uh, or an exhibit coming up on Kurt Schwitters or, or um, I don't know, Rauschenberg or something like that. You could propose, for example, a workshop where you were doing collage with uh, the public. It could have an age range. You could say it's 14 to 40 or all ages or just children or just adults. And what you design and propose is a small workshop that the museum can offer. And you use the exact language that's already on their website explaining their public programs. So you'll look at their website and it'll say something about education or public programming. Look at that. And in a very short bit of writing, they're going to explain what this program is and why it's interesting. That's what you want to come up with. What is this program and why it's interesting? That you've designed, and it could be again, a walk through the museum, a tour, you know, specifically done by an artist who will have a different insight. Or it could be a workshop, or it could be a lecture. Workshops, in a way, are the easiest. They're hands-on, people like them, they're defined periods of time, and they're, and they're easy, really. Um, showing people how 
to photograph, how to paint, how to draw, but in a way that's somehow a little bit different so the public comes in and you don't have to be an artist in order to do it. The way to begin this process is to look at the local museum that's near you or within drivable distance and find the contact number of the director of the education department. The way you get that number is simply by calling the museum and saying who's in charge of the educational programming or who's in charge of public programming. They'll give you their number right away. And if they say why, say I want to propose a public program. I'm interested. When you reach that person, say the same thing. Hello, this is my name. I want to talk to you about proposing a public program, an educational program for the public. They'll love that. They'll be all ears. Because their whole mission is not to sell work and not just to show work, but to teach the public what this work means. And you can do that for them. You can help them. Now the real big bonus here is you get paid. This isn't like an exhibit where maybe you'll get paid a little bit for installation or not. This is, this is a teaching position in a sense. A workshop is a, is, a, is a type of teaching. You get paid. You'll get paid. 500, 1,000, you'll get paid something. There are a lot of artists who do workshops all the time and they make a living doing this. So the next step, and to summarize what I've said so far in this talk, is to look at the websites of museums that are within drivable distance of you. Then find their educational department, look at what the public programs are that they have already, and then find who the director of public programming is by calling the museum or writing to them. Then call that person up. You could write to them, I prefer a call, because you're going to be talking to people, so call them up. It happens much faster that way. And or write as well. Say to them over the phone, I'm an artist, a teacher, educator, I'm interested in doing public programming, and I have a proposal for you. Who can I give that to? Ideally, you want to meet with them. You can say, can I meet with you? I have a public proposal that I'm working on. I'd like to meet with you in the museum for 15 minutes to discuss it. This is what I think is the best thing to do. It's what I do all the time. Call somebody up at a museum. You want to propose a program. Can you come down and talk to them about it for a minute? You want about 15 minutes of their time in the museum cafe. Always works for me, or it's at least a very good chance of working, because they can usually spare 15 minutes. These aren't top curators. These are people in the education department who are looking for exactly what you're offering. So that's today's episode. You're pursuing the educational department in a museum and you're trying to essentially propose a workshop to them. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the links below. You can like this page and you'll get more of this. Thank you and I wish you the best in your career.